All right, Herc, so we expect the U.S. World Cup qualifying roster to be dropped sometime later this week. And we can usually expect one pretty good surprise, at least one pretty good surprise, from Greg Berhalter, the man in charge. But I want to get your big surprise. What is your bold prediction for the list we're going to see in the coming days? There are two players, two excommunicated nines that mm. were no longer part of the national team setup that will come back. And that is Josh Sargent of Norwich in the Premier League, and my man, Jordan Pifuk. Jordan, I cannot stop scoring goals, Pifuk. These two, Josh Sargent, who's not playing as a nine, who's playing as a winger, but comes in into the box and performs nine-like duties. You, you already know what I've said about Josh Sargent. For my money, uh, he's the most talented nine in the pool. He's got all those skill sets. But if there's one pure finisher in the pool, if there's one pure goal scorer in the pool, one guy that I need a goal I want to have that's Jordan Pifa, because he's proven it over and over again against Honduras, the Nations, CONCACAF Nations League semifinal, comes on, dagger, takes him to the final against Mexico. He's that type of player, he's proven he proved it against Manchester United in the Champions League, he's got that about him, he's a different type of player than you have, and he's the hot hand. I've been the hot hand in my career. There is something to be said when you're in that zone, when the goal is just like a rainbow, it's so big you can't miss. You thrive for these moments. I've been the guy that's been ignored from the national team. I know what it's like. I know he's chomping at the bit to get back. I know that he must be livid with Greg Berhalter and his staff, even if he won't admit it. It's natural. Okay, it's human nature. And that's what you want out of your nine. I want a player like Jordan Pifak. So those are my two guys right there. It's crazy that a bold prediction would be that a player who's leading a league in Europe in goals to get called into the national team camp. If you think of any other time in the history of American soccer, if the dude is leading any league in Europe, I don't care if it's the Czech second division, he's, he's getting most called in. He's your informed nine. Yeah. And, and, but to the, to the point here is that there is, there's a lot of choices, maybe not a lot of great choices for Greg Berhalter. There are a lot of choices at number nine. So what you've done here effectively is you've taken two players uh -huh. who are forwards and you're dropping him in, which means you got to pull a couple guys out. So okay. let me tell you there who would be my bold prediction to miss out if you're All bringing right. in PFOC and Josh Sargent. I'm going to say, one, Giassi Zardes is not going to get called in. And my other bold prediction here, yes, Ricardo Pepe could be the odd man left out. Let's start with Zardes. Zardes isn't even starting for the crew, Herc. You no. know, Miguel Berry has taken his spot. Yeah. So I think if, if we take Greg Berhalter at his word and form is important, then Giassi's oh, artist cannot do be called don't into do this that. camp. And don't. I think the same I think the same has to be said for Ricardo Pepe, Herc, because if you look at Ricardo Pepe's trajectory since arriving in Germany and Augsburg with the Bundesliga, it was starting games, it was not starting games but still playing, and the latest is it's not playing at all. He's got one game. It's this Saturday against Stuttgart. If he doesn't score in that game, what if he doesn't play in that game? There's no argument from a form basis to call Ricardo Pepe in. So for me, those two players right there were the bold predictions to be missing out. Who would you be leaving out if you're going to bring two forwards in? Uh, Jossie's artist, but because what Columbus is doing to him is disgusting. They're freezing him out. So I think it's if form really does matter. But Ricardo Pepe is going on five months without a goal. At some point, we have to say maybe this move to Osberg was not the right one.